Hey Oreo family, what's going on? Hello. You know it's Jermaine and Kelsey here, Kelsey and Jermaine. Any way you want to put it, here with another video. And today we are doing a sit down. How long time we do a sit down, don't? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while we haven't done a sit down video. So we're going to do a sit down video today. We're basically going to talk about our immigration process, guys. It's the worst part of our relationship. I can tell you that was the worst part. The, it, the immigration yeah. process alone gave me several nightmares. I Night gave Kelsey even several tears. Several tears. <laughs> like it was it was the worst guys. But today we're going to dwell into it so that person we can educate other persons. Persons can know what the process is, um what to expect when we're when you're going through this process, this immigration process. Alright, because for us it was a nightmare. Yeah. Alright? but hopefully we can educate but please before we even go any further please mm -hmm. remember to like up our video subscribe and share we love yes. the support so far thanks 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 kelsey yes. all right so i don't even know where to begin because it feels like i, d I think i try to like block it out of my memory half the time because literally especially when you come off such a high of like getting married so when we got married what june 2023 yes so we're like you know full of life okay yeah very good <laughs> <laughs> and um we we're on like the biggest high but then we knew as soon as we got married that's when the grunt of the application and the paperwork started all right, and so, bear in mind that before we even got married, we, we've been doing it long distance way before that because we yes. didn't just jump up, jump in. This, uh, this is now four and a half years since we've been together. Yes. All right, so we've been doing long distance even before we got married. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so we went through a lawyer just because with us being obviously on opposite sides of the world and like, the amount of information that we needed we're like you know what let's get someone to help and just to make it easier and everything because if you miss something if you do something wrong like that you can have your file like sent back to you or not even accepted so i was like let's not play no games here we've already been like two years long distance like we want this process to basically go as fast as it possibly can mm -hmm. so i remember when we applied the process i think she said it was like, what, 14 months? But like, I swear on the government website, it's like, you can't even really- I think at first she, she was 12, saying- 12, I don't no, remember. No, she was saying, well, persons were saying eight, some persons were saying even six months. Yeah, that's true. Six months, eight months and whatever. Yeah. So anyway, so we just decided, we were humming and hawing over like lawyers, like, should we get one here in Canada? or in Jamaica, but then I'm like, you know what? He's the principal applicant. It'd be so much easier to get the lawyer in Jamaica because he's doing most of the communication anyways because the application is for him, right? Right. So yeah, we found a really good lawyer over there. I can't say enough good things about them, but we'll tell you more about the process and how they played a role. Mm -hmm. So anyways, um, what they did was, so there's everything is online. So you fill out the whole entire application online. It gives you a checklist of like all the documents, um, what other stuff that is needed as well too. So literally the lawyer sent both a checklist for me and a checklist for a him. A long checklist, yeah. guys, a long checklist. It was very overwhelming just getting the documents together. Documents. So I couldn't imagine then like sitting through like the pages and pages of actually typing in right. the actual information. So it takes it was a lot of information, all a lot of documents on top on the top of my head. The not documents that I can't remember. Yeah, we'll go well for they you. obviously need like you know the part the current passport. You need birth the certificate. birth certificate. You need the marriage certificate. You need um, a couple other um, stuff. I think they, they they even needed needed marries me at the time and so forth. I need. Uh, what else? Oh my gosh, they needed um, background letter, information. Background information. Of him, all his family Criminal members. record, criminal yeah. record check. I had to do that. Yes, of I course. had to um, get um, a letter from. We we had to do like a entire picture 
thingy. How much picture we need? We yeah, need you need a about all pictures. other pictures, and then we needed a letter, letter from from your side, and what what is that letter called again? Oh, support letters. Support letters. Yeah, yeah. we need a support letters and so forth. So that those are some of the documents. Okay, well, support letters are not going to understand if you don't explain. Excuse support me. letters are basically they wanted like three from each side, so three people from my side and three people from his side, and basically what that was was basically people who have met the both of us and then them just basically explaining like how we met, how we interact and stuff like that. So I think I got obviously my mom, my sister, and then like my best friend and her boyfriend. And, and same- A few other persons Yeah, from and my same side thing. So who have like we've met and hung out with and everything. So yeah, you need that. But it was like, you needed background information like to the point where like, where you lived in the past 10 years, where I lived where in the past Where you worked in the past. Years, where you worked oh, in the past. God, was... Where you traveled to. I'm like, oh, ah, e, I don't remember the last 10 years. My goodness, I can't even think about the last two years, for goodness sake. <laughs> it was a lot of information. It was a lot. Um, and then like for my part as well too, like, um, yes, you need, what did, I, what did I need? I was trying to think. Obviously like my passport, I don't know if I needed my birth certificate, but uh, probably not. I don't no, know. No, I'm Passport sure. for sure. Obviously, yes. All the information of like where I worked, where I live. Um, they did want a job letter from your work because they do want to check to make sure you do have a steady job. Right. Um, they wanted to see... Oh, they wanted my um, last three years of taxes and my... What, what is that called? My... Notice of assessment. Notice of us, yeah. Yes, those as well too. And like people who keep asking like, oh, like I don't have a lot of money, blah, blah, blah. I don't really think there's a threshold of how much money you have to be making I and don't stuff think like so. that. They just look at if you have a steady job. But the, the one question when we did fill out the application, you can't be on government aid or like, what, what is it, government aid? Or something like that, basically to sponsor something, someone. Mm -hmm. So, once we got all of those documents together, I'm trying to think what else there was. Oh, text think, messages. Guys, we had to go through like lists and lists, always up there and lists and pages guys. of text messages proving like we were talking about our future together and blah, 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 all this stuff. You know how many text messages? Like ding, 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 ding. Like, we have it was go through text messages from our 20, what, when, when, whenever we, yeah, we, we start talking. Yeah, since 2020, like my goodness. So that's four years out of um, text messages. So that yeah. was that was a lot, and they wanted to prove. So you know, we get we, exactly. we got all of that and give, give it to them because they actually wanted it. So we, we gave it to them. Fast forward a little bit uh, when the process start. What do you mean? Meaning fast forward a little when the, when the process. So we send in application. What what's yes. it, what was the so next? So once move? we got all of like that stuff and we sent it to the lawyer. She did her thing and typed up it all on the application online and everything. All those documents you send in as a PDF type of thing. So then she just uploads to P. Excuse me, PDF. Sorry. So once that. So then it was we submitted August eighth. So everything was submitted. And so basically the first step was you had to wait for AOR, which was called, which is basically acknowledgement of receipt. So that only means mm -hmm. that IRCC has actually you remember gotten, very well though. <laughs> I do, because it's been like my whole life. Right, um, right. That, that, now you lost some track. AOR. Oh yes, so that's the acknowledgement of receipt, which means that the IRCC has then got on your application and, and they're going to gonna start working on it not process working, oh, working on, on, it. on it right so that came i think two months after well even before you even go any further can um guys you see for us our luck is you see if um the process a part of the process was supposed to take two months for us, it's going to take four months. Yeah, or double six it. Months. Like, seriously. I don't know why, but everything yeah. for us was just taking longer, longer, longer. Yeah. I don't know why, but anyways, I had to put that in because yeah. it was it was unbearable, man. But that was, was, that was, was at the normal time. That was normal time. Yeah, that was normal say, time. It was two months later, so we got Continue that. Now. And then, so after the AOR, AOR comes, Basically, then they're Talk checking it. to make the application is in Canada and they're checking all the information on me. So they're basically checking to see if I'm eligible to even like sponsor him to come up here. So I feel like we got that 
maybe a few weeks later and then once we got the sponsorship approval it was literally i think it was a couple days later then you got the biometrics request so then he had to go and get his mm -hmm. biometrics done fingerprints and all of that and then send it to the lawyer see this is why you need a lawyer because otherwise you're doing all this stuff yourself everything yeah. just comes to the lawyer like guide you. okay go do this and then send me this and i'll do this like there's no way i feel like i would go insane yeah and if it was we had to do it this was ourselves. hard guys because both of us have um jobs, busy jobs. And, not just jobs, yeah busy, busy jobs. jobs so it's like i could not imagine so she was literally a godsend like, yeah we, we, my we, we couldn't find a time to do that i no. can't tell you so then right after biometrics, then it was the medical. So then he goes for a medical exam, full on body medical. Full right? on body. The experience was, it was good because I got, I got a full, a detailed yeah. medical report. I've basically. only been telling him how long to go get his blood tested and all of that. <laughs> I did a detailed thing and everything. Yes. Well, I'm thinking that everything went well and everything. So. Well, obviously. So. Yeah, they did the x-ray, they did some blood tests, they did yeah. a few other little stuff. And so forth. So that was and that was yeah. good. Yeah. And I sent eye test, ear test. Yeah. They put something in my nose. Oh. So there was it was a lot. Yeah. So then after that, so that came pretty quick. That was all like the month of October, November. So I was like, oh, things are moving. Yes, yes, yes. This is looking real good. Right. <laughs> all right. So now this is when like the hard part comes. Okay. So now the next part after you go through medical and everything. This is when they get into the nitty gritty of your relationship. So it's called background slash eligibility. So um, that's where they're basically making sure that the relationship is genuine. They're looking through all of your pictures and your um, text messages and who knows what Everything. else. I swear they go onto your social media as well too because I have heard that they do do that too. Even though they say they don't, but I'm pretty sure they do. Um, they're just checking everything. So um, normally that I've heard can take anywhere from like four to six months during that time. Before just us? Just to be in that point. Before us, how long it take? Well, hold on. I'm getting there. So anyways. She, she's a show. It started a show that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so, supporting her. All right. So I think this was like we were like three or four months in and I'm like, oh, my God. This is, this is like taking too long. Like by this time it was like what, March maybe? And I was mm. like, this is crazy. So then somehow I came across this group on Facebook yes. and it was this like immigration group. So anyways, this girl, she had posted, oh, I just submitted my application. Uh, husband's in Jamaica. I'm like, oh, me too. And so she direct messaged me. She's like, oh, we have a WhatsApp group for just for Outland Jamaica in the Kingston VO office. If you ask me, that's the biggest mistake, kills me, but that's it fine. It is, but it's not, okay? So it was interesting. Yes, but this WhatsApp group was everyone who was in the same position. I understand, as us. guys. I understand it, but you see, each time Kelsey go in that group, or oh, somebody just got this or whatever, oh, comes and two, two, two months later, we haven't got anything, we haven't earned anything. So that, that even was hard. Me it was more. starting to I get mean, just, to me. I mean, just try not to focus. I was literally trying not to focus too much on it. But each time oh, Kelsey so, see something in the group, okay, this person, got, I need to know what, it's chessing, man. I know, but at the same time, <laughs> like yeah, you it, did, but at the same time, the support, Moral support yeah. in this group I understand was, that aspect. Like, I, I needed it. And some some, some information, they, they actually helped us. Or yeah, it was 100% people... Easily available. Yeah, like, this group was amazing. But like, it was stressing, though. Yeah, you know. it was at times. At times, I just had to, like, put it down, uh -huh. put the messages on mute. I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, people applied months after us. We're getting through already. I'm like, what is going on here? So, um, so yeah, so anyways, that in the end though, I appreciate that group and honestly, it's helped me because people don't really understand what you're going through, like friends and family here, they do, but it's like, you don't understand what it's me. We just got married. We we're separated. We're in long distance again. And now we have, a, your country has to approve your husband to be here. Like, come on. Yeah, so long. So, and so long. For us, for us. Because yes. other persons were here, other persons, especially all in the group, other persons were like eight months, eight months seven months. Yeah. Well, for us, it was what? 15 months. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wasn't it I was 14? 15 months. Oh, basically. boy. Well, there you go. 
So anyway, so we were, things did honestly not start moving. We had a massive of hearing nothing, absolutely nothing, crickets from like March to August, I would say, was literally nothing. We hadn't heard anything. We were responding, like messaging the Lord, being like, hey, any information she would send off and they would just be like, oh, we are working on it. Be patient. But guess what, Kelsey? Just before I even mention anything any further, this is just part one, guys. We don't want to make the video too long, all right? So this is part one. Yes. We are going to jump to part two. So the next, in the next video, next we're going to upload another video with part two, all right? All right, yeah, because I thanks, just chat too Yes, yeah, so thanks, thanks for watching part one. Part two. Right? Part 2 coming up next.